summer. It's so cold. Hey guys, welcome to my Guyana top five tip. I had the pleasure of, for the first time actually, for the first time ever, going to my mother's land, the motherland, Guyana, Georgetown. It was an incredible trip, but you gotta be prepared for your first time trip to your mother's land. So these are my top five tips for a first timer in Guyana. Number one. Now, okay, first of all, I need to give you a backstory. Before I got to Guyana, oh my gosh, why are people so negative, please? Um, <laughs> loads of people, and I'm talking people that have actually been to Guyana before, but loads of people are like, oh my gosh, it's so dangerous. This happened, that happened, blah, de, blah, de, blah. And um, you gotta be careful. You gotta, you know, only go out with people who know where you're going, blah, blah, blah. Like literally, people scared the living daylight out of me to the point where I almost didn't take my camera because like, I thought as soon as you step out in the street, you was gonna get robbed. I am so glad I was wrong. Guyana is such a beautiful country and so are the people. Sometimes when you get to your homeland, like somewhere where your grandparents have talked about endlessly, told you amazing stories of themselves growing up, you really, really want to be able to see it. And as soon as I got to Guyana, I was in bliss. Like, I felt like I was in paradise. Whether I, there was rubbish in the street, whether there are gutters, whether there are, like, you know, dangerous drivers on the road, and believe me, there was some dangerous driving. I don't know about MOT out in Guyana. I'm not gonna lie to you. Some of them cars were not road worthy. I think the best thing about getting out in Guyana was just going outside, exploring, taking in the beautiful heat, but also getting to visit a lot of the local shops, local markets, and all that kind of stuff. My family had been to Guyana before, like they were getting cabs everywhere, you know, living that fancy life. But I was like, Do you know what? Me, Digital Deb, and Coriel, we're gonna go for a stroll around the end. So, <laughs> and I'm talking ends. We were acting like we were from there. Our hotel was in walking distance to the market, to the local supermarket. Um, we even got to walk down to the sites and see the amazing St. George's Cathedral, which was absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can actually walk anywhere in Guyana. So I 100% recommend get out there, explore and take it in. Now, number two, tip number two, all right now. So though I want you to go out and explore, don't be too hasty, you know. <laughs> I got a little comfortable sometimes and like, you know, I have my phone out, taking Snapchats, taking loads of pictures. I didn't do it so much with my camera because I know that's a bit bait, that's so tourist. I didn't want to be a bait tourist, but I'm not going to lie to you. One woman came up to me and she was like, you see this phone in your hand? You must be careful, you have to be vigilant. You never know who's watching. I was like, oh. I didn't know if this woman was gonna rob me or protect me. <laughs> but I knew from that point onwards, I have to be careful. You have to be streetwise. You have to, you, you have to know yourself. You have to be realistic. Come on now. Now the thing is, it's a tough one because I'm convinced everyone in Guyana has what we have. They have phones, laptops, iPads, um, computers. I just think they have it all to be honest because these girls are looking good like everyone was saying dress down to blend in when I'm saying I looked like a tramp and these girls were just minding their business looking all bad and bougie <laughs> I'm like I'm not prepared for this why do they look like supermodels and I look like house girl from down the way like it, was, it wasn't fair I think the best thing to do is just be street wise look left and right when you cross the road because you might get lit down just don't be confident don't be overconfident I would say like be confident about yourself enjoy yourself you're on holiday explore but at the same time watch yourself be vigilant now tip number three Whew. Now this is the hardest part about being a first time in Guyana. If you don't have someone to stay with, I feel bad for you, son. I asked as many people 
about where to stay in Guyana. And a lot of people, a lot of my friends, family members even, they couldn't actually remember some of the hotel names, some of the hotels that they recommended didn't exist anymore. In a country which is constantly developing, there's always changes and there was hotels popping up, hotels closing down, and it was really hard trying to figure out where to go. But um, shout out to my friend Rafanmi, amazing woman, fellow Guyanese woman. Um, she recommended Cara Lodge. Now Cara Lodge was absolutely amazing. I'm so glad we stayed there and I'm so glad she recommended it because it was the perfect guest house. Um, really, really pretty. The staff were really, really nice and it was a great place to settle in. It wasn't like super modern, but it was a great place to settle in. So we initially, before we got to Guyana, booked three days. Now, my auntie was very, very cautious about not booking too long or too short in a place because, you know, we went around Christmas time rooms could have went quickly so when we got there we got to Cairo Lodge it was amazing now one thing I, I gotta say we were smart we were very smart we decided on our kind of first day in Guyana to take a tour of all of the the good hotels the money hotels so um we visited the Ramada we visited the Pegasus and we visited the Marriott First of all, I'm not going to lie to you, Marriott, Guyana, Georgetown, y'all are rude. They wouldn't even let us see the room. They were just acting stush. So, I mean, it seemed like an amazing hotel, but they were too stush. They were acting like they were looking people up and down. I don't think that's right. So, I'm sorry, they're not on my recommendation list because they were rude. Ramada, oh my gosh. Listen, listen. Ramada was buff, but buffness comes with a price. <laughs> so we had, to, we had to leave Ramada where it was. The Pegasus, Pegasus is the hotel we actually went with. And you know what? We were really, 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 really gassed about staying at the Pegasus. But um, when we did stay there, it was nice, but it was cold and, and, and you know, the, I, I just, it, it's their own, in it? Like, I think they, they overdid it with the aircon. Like, overdid it to the point where they said don't turn off the aircon because I don't know. To be honest, Pegasus wasn't as amazing as we thought it would be. It was very modern. I mean, I'm talking very modern, very um, executive looking. But if you're on a family holiday and you want to chill and you're likely to spend a lot of time in your room, I would 100% recommend Cara Lodge. The food, the, the staff, the, the hospitality, the look, it was the perfect holiday stay i would suggest checking out TripAdvisor. read the comments very very closely and even if you're having doubts call up the hotel um big up my auntie seri she went in she called up the hotel she asked them specifically is there rates are there you know christmas specials all that kind of stuff you never know what you're gonna get so um yeah thank you very much auntie seri and thank you Cara lodge Mwah. but um but on that note if you have family, visit family. Oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> now, tip number four. Um, whether you have family in Guyana or not, I think it's really, really beneficial that you have a guide to, to be able to show you exactly what Guyana is about. We were blessed to have my auntie Bernice in Guyana. We went to stay with her in the, they call it the village, but it was more like the countryside. I mean, it's it's kind of weird that they call it the village. But it's the same thing really, village and countryside. Now when you think village, <laughs> sometimes you think like huts, shacks and all that kind of stuff. But no, this was like an amazing area with the biggest houses. I mean, I'm talking massive constructions. Um, five six bedrooms like it was sick like my auntie's house like, i'm not saying that she's boiling but in guyana like they take pride in their houses they take pride in their land you know they've got cows they've got goats they've got so much agriculture around that they really embrace they grow their own coconuts in the backyard like i loved it and i think it's really important that you take that all in it's one thing to go on holiday to the Caribbean or the West Indies and just take in the sun, go to the sites, but 100%, you have to have that real guide that can take you to the real places you need to see. I mean, we had no internet for days. It was the best experience I've had in a long, long time. We were just chilling, 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 chilling. And that's because you've got to just take in 
the beauty of the country. I mean, of course, we went to see the sea wall, which was absolutely beautiful. I mean, ugh. it was, it's disappointing to know that people dump rubbish in the sea and, and you know, a lot of it is on the shore kind of thing. But other than that, just taking in the natural raw beauty of it, even with the rubbish, <laughs> it was like, this is what Guyana's about. So, you know, get out of there, sea wall, um, St. George's Cathedral, walk around Georgetown, go to Anne's Grove like I did to see where my granddad was born and even where my mum was born and see where my grandparents' his family live and even meet a new family. I mean, it, it, it was perfect. So number four, definitely take in the real culture of Guyana. Get yourself a guide, someone you know, someone you, you can depend on and rely on to get you from A to B and just take it all in. And finally, my final tip for you guys, um, wrapping this up because I'm getting cold, learn to share your space. <laughs> if you know me, you know I'm scared of everything that moves. I'm talking, like even in this room right now, if I cut, if I see a spider, I'm out. Like I'm cutting, that's it. Like my boyfriend's coming in, he's gonna kill it. He hopefully will kill it. Um, by the way, no uh, insects or animals were killed in the making of this vlog. Thanks. I'm just scared of absolutely everything that moves. And um, I think I mentally prepared myself for Guyana. I wasn't as shook as I thought I'd be. That was proven when we was in the village. Now my auntie Benice's house, um, She's kitted it out. I mean, we've got the nets in the window so mosquitoes don't come in in the night. And, um, you know, she's got like little tricks that she does, a couple scented candles here and there. There's a particular spray that she sprays in the house to stop insects coming in. We're putting jungle formula all over our bodies, making sure no insects were biting us up. It didn't work. We got bitten up every day. <laughs> and that was mainly because we were going outside. We was like being, being tourists <laughs> a little bit. And uh, why are you opening the door? Hmm? Hun, the camera can hear you open the door. Would you like some food? I'm coming, this is my last bit. <sighs> there is food waiting for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this man just came and opened the door, interrupted my final speech. Anyway, we went outside and um, yeah, Coriel got bitten up all over the place. Like, I was worried for him. His legs were swelling, he couldn't walk. I was getting a couple bites here and there, but it wasn't nothing too bad, but I think we kind of just embraced it. You're in a hot country, mosquitoes are gonna come. Like, again, my family, they were all like, oh no, we gotta wrap up warm. I was skinning myself out, like, yeah, let them bite me. <laughs> I know who I thought I was. I became some next Indiana Jones boy. I'm like, yeah, I can take it on. Spider what? Wasp poo? Big old dragonfly what? No, I, I can't lie. If I see a dragonfly in London, that's a wrap. But in Ghana, I don't know what it was. I was just in a different mindset. And you have to be prepared to share your space with God's creatures. Uncle Alvin showed me the way. Now, Uncle Alvin, he can make any situation sound pleasant. Like, there's flies flying in the house. Like, you know, when you've got the door open and a fly or window comes in. And he was like, just leave God's creatures alone. And we were like, fair point. So on that note, listen, learn to share the land that we all walk on with God's creatures and just enjoy your trip. <laughs> I mean, I've got so many stupid stories I can tell you, but honest to God, like it was an amazing trip. And um, for someone that's never been to Guyana, that was my first time at the age of 27. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I, I need to go back. There's so much more I need to see, but um, hey, You've got to experience it. That's the most important thing. So, oh, I'm still gassed over it. I'm so cold in England, but I'm so gassed over my trip. But um, I hope you've enjoyed my top five tips for our first time out in Guyana. And um, just keep watching. I'll be doing more vlogs throughout the year. Got loads of bits and pieces coming up. A couple of shows, a couple of projects. So please subscribe. They're always moving the button. Please subscribe to my channel <laughs> and I'll be keeping you updated um, on the Twitters, on the Instagram, on the Facebooks and all that stuff. So hit me up and until next time, peace.